Hello children, how are you all? Uh, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to see chapter 5. We are going to continue with the arrays. Okay, so we are going to continue with the arrays. Last two class we saw about the array introduction. How we are going to use the arrays, right? One program we did it. And think ending section 5.4 is remaining. After today's theory part, we will go with the program uh, book uh, programs and we will work it out and see so uh, two dimensional array we are going to see today to display a table of values two dimensional arrays can be used two subscripts are there one denotes the row and the other the denotes the column so to display a table of values two dimensional arrays can be used two subscripts that is one denotes row and the other denotes the column the declaration of two dimensional arrays is as follows so how to declare two dimensional array the syntax for that a two dimensional array is data type array name row size and column size this is the declaration of two dimensional array data type can be integer array name as a name variable name row size 3 3 like that we can give it for example data type int array name m matrix 3 is the row size and 3 is the column size so the, likewise we can have the two dimensional arrays to display a table of values two dimensional arrays can be used there are two subscript one subscript denotes the row and the next two subscript denotes the column so the declaration of two dimensional array is as follows data type array name so row size and column size for example this is a table the first subscript is the index of row number and the second subscript is the index of column number. The first element in the array is M00 and the last is M22. So this element comes under M00, this M01, M02, 10. This is row and this is column. Clear with the two dimensional arrays? So for two dimensional arrays, what you want to do? You want to have two for loops, okay? See here, two for loops. The following program gets the input of a 3 into 3 matrix and displays them. So, we are getting using two for loops, enter the numbers, uh, two for loops and uh, using this you are going to print it. Okay. So, the table shows the sale of a soft drinks for a think ending session. Observe the table and answer the question. Which soft drinks sold the maximum and which is and in which quarter? So, maximum sale of uh, uh, this uh, soft drink is 640, right? So, uh, it is in first quarter that is thunder spray. Yes? The 640 is the maximum and in which quarter? First quarter. Which is the corresponding row and column number? Here corresponding row is 2 and the column is 1, right? Isn't it? So, this is row 1 comma column 0 likewise you want to tie or write it the next one is sometimes we might need to display character strings so we saw all the numeric strings now we are going to see the character string sometimes we might need to display character strings such as the name of the students or your favorite places these can be displayed using a two dimensional student name we here the character array stores the name of 40 students each 20 characters in length. Okay. So here 40 students we can save in the student names. Each contains 20 characters. Here is a program to accept the name of 4 major metropolitan city of length 10. So in this program main program character city four cities we can have it with character 10 enter the city and we are going to display it okay yes we'll see all this program uh, in c programming compiler okay this is uh, the next is tech concept with this our theory is going to over so tech concept you have not used your bicycle for almost 15 days we want to use it now what will you do to check if the bicycle is in good condition okay so every time a computer is switched on it goes through a series of steps 
before the computer is ready for use. This is called the boot up process. Okay, so every time a computer is switched on, it goes through a series of steps before the computer you also know right it will all boot itself uh, mobile also if you open if you restart it takes time right so that is called as boot up process it is called as bios okay so each time you boot your computer system you will see a memory test on the screen this is called the post that is power on self test is performed by bios that is bios means basic input output system bios bios means basic input output system post means power on self test what is meant by post it is called as power on self test post power on self test and bios means basic input output system so each time you boot your computer system you will see the memory test this is called as post and it is performed by the bios that is basic input output system this is called as the boot up process got it children once again and repeat if a any uh, bicycle or cycle, every, anything is uh, not used, you will check whether it is running in a good condition, whether brake is under good condition, everything under good condition or not. Isn't it? Yes or no? It's a, if uh, any, po uh, whatever the thing, if it is not used for a while, we want to check it once it is, if it is working fine or not. Likewise, every time a computer is switched on, it goes through a series of steps whether all the things are correctly so input devices are correctly there all the drivers are correctly and so that is called as the boot up process so each time you boot your computer system you will see a memory test this test is called as post that is power on self test and it is process that is and it is performed by the bios that is input basic input output system got it so this is your bios setup okay so in all the systems this bios setup will be there Okay, when you press your F2 button, this uh, BIOS setup will be coming. Okay, so what is the boot up process? When the power is turned on, the BIOS takes charge of execution. It contains the computer startup instructions. BIOS then performs the power on self test program. This takes the entire ROM, that is read only. What is meant by ROM? Read only memory areas. The connections to the various hardware devices attached like the processor, disk drive, etc. So BIOS then searches the hard disk for the boot program which is used to load the operating system. So what is boot up process? When the power is turned on, the BIOS, BIOS is a basic input output system. Charge of takes charge of the execution. It contains the computer startup instructions. BIOS then performs the power on self test that is POST program. This checks the entire ROM areas. The connections to the various hardware devices attached like the processor, disk drive, etc. So BIOS then searches the hard disk for the boot program which is used to load the operating system. This is called as the boot process. Clear with this concept children? Yes? So clear with this concept? Okay. So before going into practical the next video will be having all the uh, programs what we saw in the book okay about the think and think session and how multi-dimensional arrays works we'll lock it out on cnc programming before that we'll have some av okay we'll have some av of how bias works okay so how bias works we'll have some av here then we'll be entering into our switched on, BIOS takes command. BIOS checks the processor. BIOS checks the RAM. BIOS checks the VGA card. BIOS checks the keyboard. BIOS uses Initial Program Load IPF procedure to locate the boot sector. BIOS checks Expansion Cards. 
BIOS loads the boot sector code MBR in the RAM. OS loaded. So it will be very clear for the power is switched on. BIOS takes command. When power is switched on, BIOS takes the command here. BIOS checks the processor. So it checks the processor. BIOS checks the RAM. So after processor, it checks BIOS the RAM. BIOS checks the VGA card. Fourth step, checks the VGA, processor, RAM, VGA. BIOS checks the keyboard. So it checks the keyboard. BIOS uses initial program load, IPM procedure, to locate the boot sector. BIOS checks expansion cards. BIOS loads the boot sector code MBR in the RAM. OS loaded. Clear children how the OS is loaded from BIOS, processor, RAM, VGA, hard disk. Okay, clear with this? Okay, so enough, we'll go to the, so this is about the tech concept. So this uh, uh, day we saw about the multi-dimensional, that is sorry, two-dimensional arrays. Uh, two-dimensional means row and column, how to get the input, how to display the two dimensional arrays everything we saw uh, we are going to do it uh, practically in the next video okay so we are going to type the program and see whether it's coming correctly or not along with the think ending session we can see now mm. okay In this new file, new file, we are going to Type the think and think 5.4 and see what is the answer. Okay. Yes, we are typing the think and think 5.1 in page number 57. We started with void main here integer i and floating point number for this uh, array with the seven elements. Okay, only seven elements. So for i is equal to 0, i is less than or equal to 6, i plus plus. Yes, we are going to open the for loop, printf, enter the temperature of for d, percentage d, I plus 1 scanner 